Hello everyone. Myself is Prachal Tensi, working as a physics lecturer in Kottureshwara College, Kottur. Today in this session, I am discussing about an experiment from the fourth semester of BSI. Uh, that is a field along the axis of circular coil. Here, the aim of the experiment is to study the variation of magnetic field along the axis of circular coil carrying current. And the apparatus which are needed is the tangent galvanometer, a battery, a rheostat, ammeter, commutator key and etc. Then you can observe the diagram here and the circuit diagram is is given here and the connections are made as per the uh, circuit diagram shown. So here these are the apparatus where this is the tangent galvanometer and here it is the commutator key, a battery and a rheostat. Then <coughs> initially the connections are made like this. From the tangent galvanometer a number of turns has to be connected to the commutator key and then out of the two keys of the commutator uh, one key is connected to the a battery and then a battery another end is connected to the a rheostat and rheostat another end is connected to a bat, uh, commutator key again. And you can see the connections here, we are considering a 50 number of turns from this circular coil and those two number of turns from the tangent galvanometer is connected to the uh, commutator key and one, uh, one commutator key, uh, the one end of the commutator key is connected to a battery one end and another end of the battery is connected to a rheostat lower end and the, from the lower stat, rheostat upper end to the uh, commutator key again. So here, in order to calculate the variation of magnetic field uh, of a circular coil carrying, uh, carrying current uh, here, to calculate that variation of magnetic field uh, in the current carrying, uh, current carrying loop, uh, we have the formula that is B is equal to B H tan theta that is what we are calculating by the experimental and by the theoretical uh, data we are calculating the same magnetic field uh, which is carrying in the uh, current carrying loop by the formula B dash that is uh, this, this is what the formula we are using in order to calculate theoretically and here uh, some observations we have to we have to calculate we have to measure before uh, the actual experiment that is a horizontal component of the earth magnetic field is given then the number of turns used in the coil that is n is equal to what we have considered is that is a 50 here that is taken and then a radius of the circular coil that means the radius of this circular coil the radius of the circular coil is measured by using a thread and then and the electric current through the coil is kept constant about 200 milliamps and the permittivity of a free space is also constant and then <coughs> before going to the experimental procedure for initially we have to calibrate the instrument apparatus uh, in such a way that <coughs> the compass in the tangent galvanometer must show the zero deflection before uh, the current is applied the before the current is applied and then the current is met set uh, for a uh, constant value that is 200 milliamps like that and then uh, by moving this compass by moving the compass and you can observe the scale here you can observe the a scale here that is uh, 5 centimeter 10 centimeter 15 centimeter 20 centimeter like that and by moving <coughs> this scale from 0 to uh, 2 2 centimeter uh, each 2 centimeter uh, along both the sides that is uh, 2 centimeter towards right and 2 centimeter towards left so like that by moving for each 2 centimeter difference by by moving for each 2 centimeter uh, on both the sides you have to observe the deflection theta 1, theta 2, theta 3 and theta 4 and these deflections are taken by using the commutator key and for initially if you consider these two or this is theta 1 and theta 2 after moving this compass for 2 centimeter if it is a theta 1, theta 2 and then you have to 
place these keys we have to change the position of these keys then these two are going to represent a theta 3 and theta 4 and those deflections you can observe here in this compass and the, by taking those deflections for each different distances along two both the two sides that is the right side and left side of the circular coil you can get uh, four different theta values and by taking the mean values of that deflection you will get a mean theta values like this and then you have to calculate a tan theta values and then we know the formula for the experimental uh, calculation that is b is equal to bh into tan theta where bh is a, a constant and then by the theoretical uh, based uh, you have a different values like this you have uh, mu naught we know you know the mu naught value and you know the circumference uh, and hence you can also get the value of radius of that particular circular coil then x is one nothing but the distance where n is the number of turns given and i is the a current which is kept constant and by using all those data by substituting all those data in this particular formula you are going to get a different b dash values that is then after calculating all those uh, values for this particular set of uh, deflections then you if you compare these two values that is if you compare the value of b and b dash for each and every different deflection for each and every uh, for each uh, different uh, distances there you can easily verify that you can easily conclude that if the values of b and b dash are comparatively a same if those two are a nearly equal then you, you can say that the verification of magnetic field along the axis of circular coil carrying current uh, is studied and compared with the theoretical calculated values this is how uh, a magnetic field is varying along the axis of a circular coil so you can observe here by this experiment you can easily uh, uh, conclude that you can easily say that if you go on if you go on increase the distance from the coil along its axis if you go on increase the distance for along the axis then you are going to get a decrease in magnetic field that means if a current carrying loop having its own magnetic field if you go if you go on uh, if you go on uh, away from that particular uh, circular coil along its axis then there will be decrease in magnetic field along its axis along its axis this is what the experiment or uh, regarding a field along the axis of a, a circular coil thank you